I am glad and pleased to welcome the president of Palau, Sir Ronald Weeps Jr., joining us at Genesis XBT. Palau is a full UN member state. This tiny island country is becoming a digital leader, experimenting with everything from on-chain identity to drone delivery. So I am pleased to give a word to Mr. President. Hello. Uh, good, good, uh, good evening, uh, Tarak. Well, I guess it's evening here, but probably still morning there in Dubai. Uh, thank you for having me uh, and giving us the opportunity to share a little bit about Palau. Uh, yes, we are a country of only 20,000 people. We're in the Western Pacific, uh, 500 miles off the east coast of uh, the Philippines. And... Uh, uh, one thing I can say is that year-round, the weather is always pretty much the same. It's either rain or sunshine, and it's about 85 degrees uh, year-round. So we would be glad yeah. if, you, if you can share more about Palau and its a program. Okay. So it's, uh, it's something that is really valuable and interesting for people in crypto, because as they know, a Palau ID program give a chance to provide this document for uh, more than 90% of exchanges. So it's like a really great opportunity for everybody. And yeah, and we would be glad to hear something more about it. So uh, Palau is, um, became independent in 1994. And it's a democracy. Uh, we have a presidential system. There's a president and then there's also a, a Senate and a House that runs our Congress. Uh, we're an island of over 304, uh, uh, island country of 340 islands, uh, well known for our oceans, uh, we say the best diving in the world, but also from the air, spectacular views of the islands and the beaches. And so we're well known for tourists, but you know, one of the things that we quickly realize is you cannot be dependent on tourism. And that one thing that COVID taught us cannot be tourism alone. And so being a small island, we said, well, we need to also be able to make use of digital technology and see how we can diversify our economy. Uh, so Palau has one fiber optic cable. They're actually, we're getting a second one uh, that connects us directly to Singapore and to the United States. And through those opportunities, we said, well, let's launch something very innovative. So we partner with a um, company called Cryptic Labs and uh, launched a digital residency program. Uh, as of today, uh, there are over 11,000 digital residents. Uh, that's almost <laughs> half our existing population. And so being a small island, we said, well, how do we leverage that, our independence, our sovereignty, uh, to maybe help uh, everyone enjoy the freedoms that we have? And, uh, so uh, it was launched in uh, January of, I think, 2022. We started taking on uh, residents. And now, like I said, there's over 11,000. Uh, we're excited about it. Uh, we, we're looking forward to expanding the program. Last year, uh, one of the things that we were, uh, were able to have, uh, Vitalik uh, Bittering came to Palau. So really what we're all about is with all these technologies, it's coming on with Web3. How do we leverage that? How do we create opportunities for people? So some of the things that we're hoping to continue to add to is building a digital corporate registry, uh, uh, adding mailing addresses, digital banking services, digital voice and text, uh, and maybe also have some social programs. As, as digital residents, we want you to participate in also social programs and helping uh, the community. And, and one other thing that we're, we're, we're working on now is the Palau stablecoin. And the Palau stablecoin is uh, a really a, a U.S. dollar-backed stablecoin. We have partnered with Ripple. Uh, we've launched it here as an, an experimental stage. We're going through the second round of uh, testing to see if it, it can work. And, and the idea is, as you said, it gives us uh, just another opportunity to get the unbankable in Palau, for example, one of the challenges we have, you have US dollars, and sometimes they run out of pennies and coins and different types of coins because we have to bring those coins from the United States to Palau to use in our own 
system. So why not go digital? Uh, you know, these are things of how to use digital technology, leverage it and use it uh, to help our people. But with that opportunity, hopefully help the world. And so our vision is, you know, there's 7 billion people in the world. We, we can, you know, take a few 100 million as a digital residents of Palau. Uh, and hopefully this is also another opportunity for them to come and visit. Because as digital residents, when they come to Palau, they have benefits. Uh, like they can play a stay in Palau for six months. Uh, you know, if you're a digital nomad, this provides opportunities for you to come and enjoy. Uh, what, live in paradise and work. Why not? As, so. as we know, Palau has like a paradise weather with, if I'm not mistaken, 25 degrees Celsius average temperature. So it's it's really a fantastic place to, to be and stay. And uh, alongside with this digital program, with the digital stable coin, it's like we, we, we can say for sure that Palau on the forefront of, uh, of innovations. Yeah, and that's Palau doing something that us is still dreaming or planning, and you already do it. Yeah, and you know, one of the, our hopes is that through this digital residence program, we get more entrepreneurs, more innovators to come and be interested in Palau and share their ideas because we learn from our, our res digital residents of what we need to improve to provide better services and continue to expand. So, uh, and really making use of the blockchain and Web3. If, if I may share, one of the things that we were known for in Palau is where were they mined the, what they call the stone money that they carried to Yap. And these were these big disks. You call that the original blockchain. But in Palau, we didn't go with the big disk. We went with smaller money beads. But the same concept. The money bead would be used as a, uh, in a, in a, to buy a boat or to buy a house or to do different uh, customary obligations. And, and it was recorded because they knew it, it, was, it was payment for that big house and that family pay, paid for it. And that was our original blockchain. So now we're just transforming that knowledge and making use of it in, in, in the new Web3 world, right? Well, really, thank you for the opportunity to be interviewed. Thank you for this fantastic conversation. Thank you for your time. Yeah, and uh, I hope to visit Palau soon. And I hope that more and more people will found an open Palau to itself. Well, thank you, and we look forward to seeing you here in Palau. Tulan. Bye-bye.